special shout out to executive producer Silver and 7552 for sponsoring this reaction. We appreciate the sponsorship and hope you enjoy the reaction. Thanks again. Welcome back to another Real Talk Reaction. This one here is from Mythic Quest, Season 1, Episode number 6. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell as well. Tell a friend to tell a friend. We still over here watching Mythic Quest, people. And it also helps the algorithm. So, thank you. Shout out to executive producer Silver and Four uh, sponsoring this reaction. We really appreciate it. Just a couple comments from the last episode, starting with executive producer producer Silver and who says I love this episode so much and it is so different than the other episodes yeah it was, a it was really good it was yeah. really fantastic surprising too didn't know that was going to happen um, executive producer Reef adds the last comment saying thank you Silver this is definitely an amazing episode directed by Rob slash Mac and written by his sister Katie they killed it oh. yeah it was really good it was really good wow okay that's who wrote it good mm -hmm. job yeah it was fantastic yep. all right let's get into Mythic Quest episode six right now so I left. I figured one of us should get decent sleep. Well, at least you brought me breakfast. Oh, this is mine. It's prescription. A prescription <laughs> bagel? Legally, you're actually not allowed to ask me about yeah, it. Yeah, I fixed the white noise bug. I'm gonna go home and take a shower. I have a lunch today and I can't go like this. You've got a lunch? Yes, Michelle. I can have a lunch. Hey, Poppy. Yeah, what's up? Uh, you... Um, Zachariah. Zachariah? Oh, it's Paul. Michelle, we fucking with What's her. What's yeah. Paul? Um, I think we've got a problem. Is it important? Yeah, actually, it's, um, it's the masked man, so he's panning out thousands of dollars of free loot every minute. So far, we've lost about $300,000. Is that bad? Yeah. That's bad, Zach. Did someone hack you or something? Paul. I don't care. Uh, yeah. $300,000? So, this is bad. Yes, this is bad. How does nobody know this is bad? It's bad. He's spewing up loot like a busted ATM. Oh! He just gave away a horse. That, those are expensive. Okay, this is bad. Uh, I'll go loop an eye. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't need to tell Ian. He'll just freak out Ian. and hold it over my head for the rest of forever. All right, fine. I'll loop him Brad. No, don't tell him either. This is a closed loop. You don't need to call a meeting and get the entire loop. company involved in every decision. But I rule by committee. That's my strength. No, David. That's your weakness. No, my weakness is my shoulders. You know this. I, can you please let go of my arms? I can't escape your grasp. You know what a strong leader does? He puts out the small fires before anyone even knows about them. He doesn't call in the entire fire department because a trash can is burning. Well, I mean, if you have a trash can fire, you're going to want the entire fire department. Let's just keep it simple. I'm going to fix the bug. You stop the masked man from giving away any more loot. Me? What, what do I do? I figured out that he can't give away loot if you're hitting him. So sit here, follow him around the trash can him until I can fix it. That button. Trust me, we got this. It's no big deal. If it's no big deal, then why is your neck covered in stress on Right, I was about to say that. That could be from anything. No, that's from stress. Absolutely. I know I was covered in them during my divorce proceedings. It wasn't my fault. <laughs> I mean, my wife, David. she's... Focus. Fine. Look, I won't put on on this, but he's going to find out. I mean, the second he sits down on his computer. Don't worry about Ian. I got a plan. Morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Hey, how you doing? Good morning. Good to see you, everybody. Muy bien, ¿y usted? Muy bien, gracias. ¿Qué me cuentas? Ah, tengo café. Okay, qué okay. bueno. Me alegro mucho. Okay, chao. Okay. Chao. Hey, I am. Hey, Pop. I was just talking to uh, Maria. Cool. Yeah, in Spanish. I don't know if you caught that. What? I speak Spanish. Yeah, great. Ah, good day. Okay. That's uh, Australian. Sure. There's someone I want you to meet uh, just over here. Uh, this is Paul, our new gameplay programmer. Paul, this is Ian. Hello, Paul. Welcome to the team. Hello. Oh, it's such a pleasure to be here. Oh my gosh, he's humongous. Yeah. Cool. Uh, great. Nice to meet you. Welcome. 
Welcome. Uh, you can go ahead and sit down. Let's get oh, back to work. Actually, I have a surprise. Care less what you have to say you about anything. Care, you couldn't care less. If you could care less, then you do care a little. I could care less. That one's right. That one's right. It's a problem, Nazi, too, man. All of our tech leads and that's what I have, that's what I have problems. Uh, they work collaboratively. I just did really good. Driving our technical agenda sometimes. for the next five years. We're bleeding edge stuff. <laughs> Not too shabby, Dan Williams, <laughs> but I'm going to have to hold out judgment until I see the creative director's office. Oh, that's right here. Uh, we have an open office space plan here. That desk? Yeah. It seems a little low. Shouldn't it be kind of higher up, you know, so that the creative director can lord over everyone else and, and like an unspoken display of power? Who would do that? I am does that. Is that not a thing? No. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. Hey, Pooty! How's this little piece of shit treating you? Great. We love Pooty. He helps promote our game. Why would you call him that? I don't know. That's just what we call him at yeah. our studio. It does seem like we out of context. Maybe because he's a child. Yeah, yeah. Child that's that's child. probably it. <laughs> oh, MQ sounds like an interesting place to work. Oh, no, no, no. It sounds kind of toxic bad. over there. Yeah. You know, to be honest, when I called you, I was feeling a little underappreciated. Look, here's my quick pitch. We don't rely on egomaniacs making whiskey moves. All of our creative decisions are cross-checked with behavioral player simulation to ensure success. We protect our creative here. If you join us, the only ego you'll have to contend with is your own, not Ian's. What? <laughs> yeah, I know. You saved the best for last. <laughs> <laughs> Let me walk you out. Cool. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> Not bad no at all. I think you keep it. <laughs> okay. It's been like 30 minutes, I think we're in the clear. That's How can you a very sit there frittering away your life while the machine robs us of our livelihoods? You hear that, you mechanized abomination? I know your game. C.W., Brad showed me the backstory you wrote. I knew you were a good writer, but this is incredible. That shit made me cry, man. Really. I, 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 I didn't. Mm-mm. You've already said enough. Are you fucking with it? Wait, probably five one, mate. Uh, Is it no, true? Words on there? Has a cold, calculating machine produced a story that can stir the human spirit to such a degree? Nah, see, I'm gonna break it in your head. No. You just got, whoa! I've been obliterated. As have I. No, no, see, that means the mice might kill me. Something's very wrong. He's not supposed to be able to do that. Maybe it's not an it. Who is manipulating anymore. it? We in the science fiction milieu have been writing about events like this for decades. We may be witnessing the dawn of the machine revolution. Perhaps the, the masked Matrix. man has come to life. No, it's a bug. No, yeah, it's a it's, it's a really big bug, but Bobby will fix it. Okay, <laughs> David, it's the beginning of the enslavement of mankind at the hands of, of our own technology. Jack Daniels, wild turkey. Right. Yeah. Wild turkey. <laughs> I'm just gonna get Bobby quick jingle and uh, see if we can sort this all out. Okay. Crap! Straight to voicemail. How long does it take to eat a tuna fish sandwich in a bathroom stall? See? This is exactly why we need committees. He needs to stop drinking. Now he feels some type of way. feels great to get a nice sweat, you know, and that really quiets those insecure voices, you know? I feel better. I needed that too. <sighs> what about you, Stretch? You want to get down here and do a couple reps? Oh, no. You're all right. Jim's not really my scene. I'm not sure how we ended up in here. I thought you were going to give me a tour of the whole building. Uh, well, 
Ratrix CW ended up leaving an air conditioner with an AI server, so now he's just taking out his pent up frustration on the AC unit. Ian was unable to masculate the giant programmer guy, so I guess he just decided to pick a fight to get win. How could you let this happen? Look, it doesn't matter. The problem got solved anyway, okay? Because about ten minutes ago, the masked man disappeared. Disappeared? Yeah. What do you mean? I mean, poof, he's gone. Yeah, I mean, I, I can't find him on any of the servers. No, that's that's impossible. Well, it's not ideal, but it's a pretty good show to a <laughs> Of course you do! Because this entire office is insane! This is supposed to be a professional workplace full of adults! Okay, yes, t today is a little bit abnormal. Except it's not, is it? This is just another Tuesday for us. You know, it was your idea to, to, to distract Ian with Paul Paul. Yeah, I've gone insane too, because up until today, I thought that this was normal! But it's not! I have to grow up and be the adult and figure out what the hell is happening with the mask man! Hey, your hives are getting worse. You think? If the masked man has disappeared from the game, then this isn't a glitch. Someone's messing with him. I'm just gonna go through the code logs. Wait, wait a minute. This looks like the changes didn't come from a verified login. Shit. They're external. What does that mean? It means we've been hacked. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. So what do I do? Fucking nothing, David! So nothing! I, I will deal with it! Okay? You do nothing! Jesus. I just wanted to be supportive. Yeah. Like, do I need to do something? Hey, Paul. Oh. How you doing? Yeah. Hey. Don't know. Depends. Are you going to try and fight me? Ah. Fight to me? I deserve that. Nah, no, I, uh, I came to apologize. Actually, hey, welcome in. Welcome. <sighs> Look, man, I, I try to think of myself as an evolved human, but I find myself in these patterns of toxic masculinity, and honestly, it's just not cool. It's not your fault that I'm insecure about your physicality, or that I'm threatened by your war record, or quite frankly, all of the things that make you such an amazing man, so uh, I'm sorry. Wow, I'm uh, very noble of you. I, I really appreciate the gesture and the apology. Is he firing you right now? Truth yeah. is, I I've been so impressed with you that I have given you a promotion. <laughs> wow, thank you, Ayn. Uh, what does that mean? It means you get a new office. Yes, wow. down next to Sue, our community manager. Here's your new key card. Wow, I'm, uh, thank you so much. I really appreciate this. Careful with that card. It is a little bit finicky, but it will get you down to the basement and keep you there forever. So keep me there. I'm not sure. Mm. Toxic uh, masculinity, my ass. Fuck you, you big bitch. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 so, uh, I am so insecure. All right, that was episode six of Mythic Quest, and you know, I thought it was an okay episode, man. You know, come from the one we came from before, you know, uh, it was still entertaining, though. I liked it. Um, you know, not, not really any laughs up in there, but <clears throat> again, just I think the only thing we did was forward the story of um, um, the girl, the engineer, you know, the, the engine, Poppy. She, Poppy, yeah, the engineer one, yeah. We forwarded the story for her. Is she gonna leave? Is she gonna stay? Obviously, she on the damn fence of leaving right now, but. Um, of course, she can't, you know, she'll turn around and figure out something, to, you know, a reason to stay over here. Other than that, you know, I just thought it was pretty entertaining, um, but I know we, I know it, it started on the high, and we at where we at now, especially coming off that really, really good episode from before, so I know they got some more in the chambers, but I'm going to just get this for the okay episode, and I'm still interested to see the rest of it. A uh, shout out again to executive producer Silver and for sponsoring this reaction. Um, I really liked the matchup with Ian and Paul. I thought that was really funny and very um, typical of somebody who is intimidated and wants to be super masculine. So I thought that was really point on. My other favorite takeaway of the episode was Poppy's realization of what 
a proper work environment looks like and I feel like that's so accurate a lot of times when you're in a toxic situation you don't realize you are until you're introduced to a different environment so I think mm -hmm. like her evaluating all that and then coming back to seeing the office just havoc um, and crazy. I thought that was just really insightful and very spot on um, to real life stuff too. So I really appreciate that. I don't know how they're going to resolve this because she's so essential to the operation at Mythic Quest. Like they're either, hopefully she vocalizes it and they like empathize and can address some of her, her concerns. But they, they sold her pretty hard on the other company, so, um, and you saw her hives were completely away, uh -huh. too. Like, she was calm and collected, and uh, I, I just thought that was really great. So, all in all, I thought it was an entertaining episode, and definitely looking forward to checking out more. Yep. All right, well, look, thank you guys again for watching another Real Talk reaction, another EP sponsor reaction for Mythic Quest Season 1, Episode number 6, and until next time, people, peace.